I look at you, and do you know what I see? Nothing. What exactly is your connection with this woman? She needs my help. I'm thinking about something. You know, I have a lot of friends that have the kind of problem that me too I have before. You help me. And I know they will need the kind of help, this thing that you people are doing. If you can be doing it, trust me, you make a lot of money. There are women out there who need our help. Okay, he's a bit crazy, but he's the best private investigator that I know. Hello. Hi. I think I might have an answer to that question. in your head is just six. Thing off. What the hell is the matter with you? I am going to make you dummy. See, 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 I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry oh, about this. Really yes. Huh? Thank you. <laughs> oh. Really sorry, sir. Breast I bought breast this hair. Power. Breast power. Breast bought my dog. Don't dog. breast is very, very, Don't very this one. Let me show you the power of breast. breast. See, oh, breast oh, power. Oh, see, breast. Wait, wait. This girl. <laughs> girl you <laughs> love my breast. Please go, girl. Come on. So, how do we know you again? I don't how understand. How do we know you exactly? Not because you love me. You. It's you breast that loves you. you. Like, I, it's still breast that. You don't know Ibadan. Ah, uh, if you know Ibadan, let's see my lady. I wake up five. I will go to Bode. Sometimes I will, I will walk to Ojaoba to go and to go and get abs. It's okay. It's okay. One day like this, Olonu nearly kill me because Olonu does not see woman. Nice movie, and I like the story. Nice story, right? Very nice. And you know, this is the first time I'm watching, working with Auntie Rita. There's Auntie Rita coming next to She's a delight to work with. And I like the story. I like it because it's real. And um, I like the cat. Maybe I should just watch out. It's terrible. Oh, my bed. Trust me. It's a nice thing. I'm a lot of the, You know, the good that people have done before, before, you will be following person up and down because of the good that I've done before. This is a story of this woman who is in an abusive marriage and um, all she has are her two friends who try to help her find hope at the end of the day. Um, I believe that this film, or rather this story, um, a lot of women in similar situations out there will connect with this story. It will help them find hope, it will help them begin to understand that they're strong. It will help them understand they don't have to be in the situation that they find themselves in. I think it's an inter entertaining story. It will draw the audience in. The audience will go through different emotions. And I believe that this is a story that has been properly told by the director, Kayode Kasum. I play a character called Mrs. Bankale. Uh, Mrs. Bankale is a married woman. Um, 
trying to clean her husband out by going through any means necessary to do so. Um, well, you have to watch to see if she gets away with it or not, but I think she did. Or maybe not. <laughs> so that's going to be up to you guys to watch the film and find out. My name is Ambassador Sahid Balogun. I'm on the set of The Therapist, directed by Kayode Kasumu, produced by Essie Udometa. Uh, I'm happy to be here. I'm playing the part of Prey, that man, agile man, who loves to be. Mm -hmm -hmm. I don't want to talk much about it. By the time you get to see The Therapist, you will love it. You will love it, you will love it. I love all the crew, I'm happy here. And what I love about the director, right? I mean, acting there, he brought out the best in me. Cool, calculated and perfect. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. <clears throat> Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, so shall we Okay, starting with lot one. No pay for Dumpa, hard side up. Starting the bid at one thousand dollars. Do I have one thousand dollars? Thank you, I have one thousand. Do I have fifteen hundred? Fifteen hundred. Two thousand? Two thousand at the back of the room. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Twenty-five hundred. Three thousand to you at the back, sir. Any advance on three thousand? Three thousand five hundred, lady in the red dress. Thank you very much, ma'am. Any more bidders? 3,500 last time. So, thank you very much, Mom. Can I see your card, please? Can I see your card, 220. Thank you very much, Mom. Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are discussing the thorny topic of working women and what to do with kids. 
Chichi, why is the table set for two? And, Ma, I thought that your friend Thel was going to spend the night. Unless I tell you so, never assume that my guest is staying the night. Yes, Ma. I'm sorry, Ma. Happy birthday, Ma. Aww. Thank you. This is very nice of you. You're welcome, man. What about the party? What party? Last year, you said you were going to throw a big party to celebrate your birthday this year. I did? Hmm. I wonder what made me say that. You work too hard, man. Nonsense, Chichi. In my line of business, there's no such thing as working too hard. Elizabeth, don't tell me you're calling to remind me again about your talk. <laughs> Thanks for you, Ewelu. No, Maria, that is not why I'm calling you this morning. I just called to wish you a happy birthday, my dear. Happy birthday, dear Maria. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Thanks, Lizzie. <laughs> uh-huh. Happy 20th anniversary of your 30th birthday, darling. <laughs> <laughs> Let's paint the town red tonight. I have just the place in mind. Dr. Farmer Kiwan. Hold on a second, love. Yes? We're ready for you. Okay, which way are we going? This way. Oh, fine. <laughs> I have to go, yeah. Okay, Tudi. Break a leg, okay? I'll be watching you. Uh -huh. Mutikbo, I'll set it all up, and you make sure you wear something sexy. We will be right back after this message. Stay fabulous. What is this? This dress is ugly. These shoes, they look so cheap. I want brand names. My okay. show is called Rich and Fabulous Tola. I, I want items that scream class, style, glamour. Does that coconut brain of yours know what those words even mean? How many times must I say it? Money is not my problem, but how to spend it. So buy me nice things. I want beautiful things. Has anybody heard from Kate? Why do I even bother talking to you people? I have to do everything myself. Phone. Hello. Where is Kate? Why is she not picking up her phone? How am I supposed to shoot the scene where I talk with my party planner about my 50th birthday party without my party planner? She's on her way to her. She left over 30 minutes ago. I'm sure it's the traffic. Oh, whatever. Just a bunch of incompetent fools. What time did you get in last night? I was at a night vigil. Night vigil, Abby? Mm -hmm. And now you're late for your meeting with Tola. When are you going to get your priorities right? My priorities are right. God is first. Look, Chiki, I'm not ready for your nonsense this morning. What? All this church, church, every day must stop. Hey, what are you doing here? What happened to the job interview? I canceled it. You did what? You know me, Kate. I'm not the 
nine to five type. I function best when I'm my own boss. You need to get a job. Pot, kettle, black. Don't pot kettle black me. I'm not the unemployed one. I got the contract to plan Tola's party just to see us through the next two months. I'm self-employed, not unemployed. Self-employed. What difference does it make if you're not putting bread on the table? Tola only wants me at her house early because of that silly reality TV show she's filming. I don't want to be in a reality show. Kate, Kate, listen. A public appearance will do you no harm. It's free publicity for your business. My business was fine until you started being reckless with my money. Your money? Just get out of bed. And for the record, Kate, our money problems are just as much as your fault as they are mine. How many of your get-rich-quick schemes have to fill before you wake up, Chiki? How many? High-risk business investments with good rewards. That's why they're called high-risk. And where are these rewards? Where? All I have is stress, worry... The stress on all the hours you spend in church. How about your fasting and endless prayer meetings? We need God to save this family. Chiki, I do not want to argue with you. We need to work together, well, not against work together. each other. All you do is spend our money on prayer for this and prayer for that. Better spending the money on God's blessings rather than wasting it on your grand useless get-rich-quick schemes. And for the record, it will be your money when you start making some. Thank you, my wife. That was what I was waiting to hear. I hope you have a good day. Thank you very much, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Now today, I would like to start by telling you about my late mother. She was a great nurse, one who absolutely loved to help people. Now, when your mother loves her work, you are inspired from a very early age to take up that profession. Now, I was named after the late, great Dr. Elizabeth Abimbola Awoli. She was my mother's hero. She was West Africa's first female medical doctor, a renowned gynecologist. Now, I knew what I wanted to do with my life from a very tender age. I wanted to help save lives. I was completely obsessed with that bond between a mother and her child. Indeed, a mother's treasure. <laughs> Call in sick, ma. I am not sick. This one looks like morning sickness to me. Can you just tell the driver to get ready? I'm late for work. Yes, ma. Silent night, holy night. All is calm. All is bright round young virgin mother and If you don't stop singing that song, I'll come out there and strangle you. Thank you very much. Ah, oh, how sweet. Thank you so much for coming. Enjoy the book. Hello. You're my room model. How oh, sweet. What is your name? Okay, Chief. Okay. Um, but it's for my mom. Her name is Nena. Right. Nana. How old are you in Kechi? 23 in December, ma. That's almost 10 months away. Why don't you just simply say you're 22? <laughs> I can't wait to be 23. Can't you now? <laughs> no more questions. Step back. Step back for madame. Go back. Yes, 
Father, I receive healing from you in the mighty name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus. Tola. What kind of party planner are you? Your behavior is just totally unacceptable. Highly unprofessional. Don't interrupt me. I'm not interrupting you. I said don't interrupt me. Look, if you're not here in the next 30 minutes, you're fired. And I might as well tell you now that I will not be recommending your services to anyone anytime soon. Well, well, look what the cat dragged in. Mrs. Tia, I think we should still wait until Kate gets here. You know, get some reaction shots. Oh. Hmm. Excuse me, Madam Producer, but if I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. What she's actually trying to say is that uh, if she wants your opinion, she will tell you what to say. Sis. Yes, Jamal. I think you need to listen to your producer. The blogs, they're calling you neurotic, a drama queen. Really, Jamal, and what do they say about you? Hmm? That's what I thought, nothing. If you don't take that camera out of my way, I will have you escorted off my premises and you'll be fired. Jamal, Jamal, my dear sweet little brother. But if I may recall, your presence isn't required on this set today or tomorrow or the day after. In fact, your presence isn't required here at all, not on RFT. So with that, I bid you welcome and goodbye. If I may interrupt. You may not. If we include your brother. You may not interrupt. My family is off limits. The oracle has spoken. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, vamos. Excuse me. Wakey, wakey. Uh-huh. Let's do this. Stand by, everyone. All right, all right, all right. Enough, enough, enough. And action. Welcome to yet another fun and glamour-filled day with RFT. In today's episode, we're going to be discussing the preparations for an upcoming event, the celebration of a milestone in my life. Yes, people, I'm going to be hitting the big 5-0, and with you, the viewers, I'm going to be marking it with style and pizzazz. And that's what this pizzazz. I don't think I like that word. It's too akada. Shade, change it. I've told you to stop calling me. Honey, if you call me one more time, I'm going to change my number. Are you okay? What was that? So I'm thinking, we fill the pool with balloons and lights. 
Hmm, lovely. Put party packs all around the pool edge, and then a firework display. Brilliant! I'm so happy that I chose you to plan my party. Everything sounds perfect. Cut. Take five, everyone. Four hours late, Kate. Which kind of jabajantes be that? Asha Kasha. I ought to just cancel your contract now, now. I said I was sorry. Don't interrupt me. It won't happen again. I said, don't interrupt me. Okay. Turn over and three, two. So I've booked the chopper. And the venue is secured. And... Cut. And... Are you okay? Do you need a break? Please. Why are you holding your breast, Lizzie? Oh, mom. I had to go to London next week. I booked an appointment with one of Harley Street's best. Please see. I am giving these beauties some TLC. What do you think? I think your breasts are fine the way they are. Mm -hmm. I've always wanted a D-cup. A uh who? -huh. A D-cup. Don't share. Let's face it. These beautiful hills are going to head southwards, whether we like it or not. And I believe that we owe ourselves a duty to stop them. Lizzie, how long have we spent talking about the size of your breasts? Ah, Veggie, cool temper. Your test results have only just arrived from the lab this minute. Person with your exam must get results, whether pass or fail. And? Hmm. And you, my lady, you've passed in flying colors. Meaning? Right, now there's good news and good news. Which one do you want first? I see. Ah, chill. Oh, it's in. <laughs> the good news is that the fetus is in rude health. Can you talk to me in plain English? The other good news is that you are approaching the end of your first trimester. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's not possible. Trust me, Maria. Not only are you preggers, you're nearly three months gone. That is impossible, Lizzie. I'm, I'm 50. So, clearly you're still ovulating. And you're certainly fertile, plus someone with a nice waiting call and a healthy sperm count has been servicing you, you naughty, naughty girl. Abracadabra, no deform, but let me tell you. Huh? <laughs> and you didn't even tell me that you were getting some. And there I was, thinking that butter couldn't melt in your mouth. <laughs> well, people, Maria. Don't get rid of it. Oh, Lizzie, can you help me get rid of the damn thing? This late in the game? At your age? No, my lady. I'm going to have to strongly advise against that line of action. Mm -mm. Holy shit. I've lady. never wanted children. Never. Why not? Kids are good for you. They grow up to be fascinating adults. Who refuse to speak to their parents? That was low. You were my worry. Yeah, my worry. I, I really shouldn't have said that. I'm, I'm very sorry. Have you spoken to her recently? She won't speak to me. Not since it happened. Boy, you said, Lizzie, you're not trying. How can you do that? I'll take a baby and leave me. Mm. I'll come, you shall make me fish bread. Thank you. Oh, what? Anyway, is she still producing that yeah, yeah, reality TV show with that historical prima donna? RFT? Yeah. She's still producing it. Oh. And that yeah, yeah show, as you so casually refer to it, is being watched by millions across the continent. Your point being? Uh, Tola can be a prima donna, yeah. She's not stupid. You would say that, wouldn't you? Until <laughs> you get along like a house on fire. She's a dear friend, yes, but that's not why I jumped to her defense. She has a heart of gold. 
Do you know how much money that show raked in in advertising revenue last season? A lot of money. A fortune. And we're talking dollars. Mm. Do you know what she did with it? Gave it to charity. All of it. And she's done that ever since the show began. Doesn't make her any less irritating. <laughs> Bad Billy. Welcome to another fun and fabulous <laughs> field episode with Arif. Oh, what a load of horseshit. Hey! You really don't like her, do you? Mm-mm. Anyway, that's a sign, yeah? Just me. Who's the father? Mm. Ah. Shibashi mm. one, You won't tell me. Mm. Maria. You'll be back. <laughs> It's me, Tola. What on earth is wrong with your wife? I've never seen her this erratic. I wish I knew Tola. She must be suffering from some severe form of sleep deprivation. What do you mean? Well, she's been coming home from work at odd hours. She came in at five this morning claiming she spent the night in church. Really? Are you okay? I've been trying to call you. Mm. What sort of advice have you been giving my husband? He's lost all our money on another deal again. Let us just say that I warned him not to invest in that scheme. I warn all my clients. If a business opportunity sounds too good to be true, then it usually is. But you could have called me. You're my friend, Kate, but so is Chike. And he wouldn't take too kindly if he hears that I've been running to you to report on him. If you want to discuss it further, why don't you both just come to the office? I don't look so worried. I'll always... Of all the people in the world, Kunle. Of all the people in the world. I have no idea what you're muttering, my dear darling wife, but whatever it is, I wish you the same. How dare you call me your wife? Where have you been since last night? Or are you going to deny the fact that you only decided to come home because your mistress is here? Where do you think you're going, Kate? Don't you dare play dumb with me. How could I have been so stupid? He's the reason why you were late today. You completely lost your mind. Don't listen to her. Our her is too much. Me, I'm going back to the office. I am not going to allow you to continue disrespecting me in this house, Kule. You were having an affair right under my nose, and I didn't suspect a thing. I knew you were spreading your seed all over Lagos. But what I didn't know was that my party planner was one of them. What you're saying is complete rubbish, and somewhere in that paranoid mind of yours, you know it's rubbish, but you say it so well. I stretch out my hand to you in friendship, and you spit into it. Come on. I let you into my house. I pay you good money, and this is how you choose to repay me. You're fired. What just happened, please? I'm so sorry, Kate. Really, I mean, I don't know what's going on. Are you still on. here? <gasps> Get out of my house, you shameless prostitute! Tola! Out! Tola!
night, ma. Good night, Columbus. Did I say I wasn't? Sorry, ma. Chichi. Ma? Thanks for the birthday card. You're welcome, ma. Get a glass. Have some wine. Ah, no, thank you, ma. I I'm fine. All right, good night, then. Good night, ma. My friend just found out that she's pregnant. And? She's 50. IVF? Mm -mm. Not IVF. And the thing is, she doesn't even want it. <laughs> and the irony is that I make my living by helping women who are desperate to have children. <laughs> Life is full of paradoxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you're not getting it. I'll be back. I'll be back, I promise. <laughs> mm. Hello? Baby, are you okay? Are you home? Uh, yeah, where are you? I'm at the front door. Can you open up for me, please? Of, of, of course, darling. This is Dr. Elizabeth from Akiwa. Please leave a message after the... Darling, Kilode, did you lose your keys? We sounded awake on the phone just a minute ago. I did? Air freshener. <laughs> I just came to pick up some stuff from my room. Is that OK? That's fine, darling. But before you do that, sit. Let's talk. We haven't done that in a while. You've got company. 
Maria. Maria came to see me a while ago to give me some great news. Aren't you going to ask me what the news is? She just found out that she's pregnant. Can you believe that? Why do I think you're lying? Don't be cheeky, young lady. You can ask her yourself. I thought she hated children. <laughs> what gave you that idea? She says so all the time. Right. How is RFT doing? You must be proud of that show. It's OK. It pays the bills. Are you still sharing that flat in Ikeja? Shadi, your hair is so beautiful. Is this what's in at the moment? I don't know. Um, uh, Shadi, um... Shadi, 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 honey, Shadi, wait. Come on, darling. My view now. It's okay. It's, it's nothing. It's nothing I haven't seen before. At least this time, it's not my boyfriend. I was tipsy that night. My boyfriend, mom. My boyfriend. So what do you want me to do? Go down on my knees and beg? No. If I never saw you kneeling again, that wouldn't be too soon. That was the position I found you in when I walked in on you, remember? You will respect me, young lady. I am your mother. <sighs> so mother. And don't you ever come back here, you hear me? And don't you ever phone me again. I told you to go into my bedroom, Sammy, not her room. Boy, boy, you put me... No, I didn't. You did, Lizzie. Are you calling me a liar? No, I'm not, but you put me in that room. Okay, fine, so I put you in that room, but I thought it was my room, not hers. You're scared of your daughter. No, I am not. I just didn't expect her to show up on my doorstep, just like that. She's scared of leaving daylight oh, out of you. you. Are we still going out tonight? You sound completely drunk. Is that against the law? Get dressed. We're going out. My name is 
time you know. I don't care what your name is. I still don't do little boys. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Do you think I was trying to toast you? Come on, I was only trying to help. I, I swear. But co come to think of it, though, I, I wouldn't mind having some of, you know. to forget that I live here too early. I hear her divaness outdivered herself today and turned on Kate. Kate of all people. That's none of your business. Why are you so unhappy, sister? Why aren't you? Nika is performing at Freedom Park tonight. I'm going and you're coming with me. I'm not going anywhere with you.
Hello, Kate. Pastor, my life is falling apart. You said it would get better, but it's falling apart. Have you started your treatment? It says here that you need to... The doctor is wrong. I'm convinced that he is wrong. I have faith that this thing will pass. <laughs> the ways of God are full of mystery, Kate. I talk hard. I come to church. Why is God unhappy with me? Why has he cursed me with this disease, Master? You can't look at things that way. I need to know what I have done wrong. I do not have cancer. There must be a prayer that you can say. The sooner you start your treatment... What can a doctor do that God cannot? Please, help me, Pastor. Help me talk to God. Help me beg him now. Okay. Have you told your husband? I've been very busy. Talk to him. He needs to know. You need all the support that you can get. We here at the church would always be there for you. But you need to talk to your husband too. I lost my job today. Pray for me. This is not the right time for me to tell him. What I really need is prayers. Okay. Do me a favor. I want you to do this first thing tomorrow morning. Okay. Go to another hospital. Do a test. Get a second opinion. And if it's true what that letter says, that you may need mastectomy to save your life, so be it. Accept it as the will of God. Vigil, I sent you a message. Mm -hmm. In that dress? <sighs> you can't night vigil without. You know very well that I went straight from shoot. I could not come home to change because of the traffic. Chikiv, please don't be angry. I'm sorry. I'm not angry, Kate. I just don't get this thing you're doing. Prayers. Prayers for us. You might as well move into the church and come home once a week. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I love you, JK. Just give me a moment. One. 
one moment. You're here by yourself? Yes. No friends? Family? Just me. Very well. <clears throat> now let's just stick to the plan. Stay on our medication, yeah? And then we'll run some more tests the next time. You no problem. Now I do not want you to worry about a thing no on top of it. See you during your next visit. Thank you very much. Sorry, Ma. Bye. It's not going through. Bad network. <sighs> Insufficient funds. That cannot be true. Okay. Sorry, ma. Lizzie. Hey, you. Hey. Is everything okay here? She came in yes. to see Dr. Sugarba, but there's a problem with our card. Give me her bill. Okay. This one, my lady, is on me. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hey, do you have a minute? I was just on my way to the canteen. Oh, I'm sorry, Lizzie. I'm late for work. All right, call me. I want to hear every single detail of that yawa you had with Tola the other day. You heard about it? Come on, Kate. No see me and Tola be like sisters now. Of course she called me to moan about it. And I told her to drive to your house immediately and apologize. Did she? Everything is okay now. I'm glad to hear that. Thank you. All right, I'll see you. Welcome, ma. Uncle Kule is here, ma. I know. Let me take your bag. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. I was yesterday, Kule. Um, didn't you tell you I was here yesterday? I was out with some friends. What's wrong, Maria? Go home, Kunle. I'm tired. What's wrong, Maria? Just go home. 
What home? Home to your wife. We made a mistake. I don't even know what I was thinking. I'm going to make it an early night tonight. Go home, Kone. But... You, you owe me an explanation. I mean, I, I, I will leave, but not before you tell me what's happening. I mean, have you met someone else? Is there is it? no future for us. I'm pregnant. I love you. I love you so much. So happy you're having my child, Maria. <laughs> Madame, please stay here. Hello, Lizzie. Hello, Kunde. How's your wife? Fine. Call you later. Madame, she she should get out. Kunle is the father. So so. He's a married man, Maria. No. To hear you talk about her, people would think that you caught on her sleeping with your husband. All that venom, Maria? The cheek of it. The cheek hey, of it. Stay out of this, Elizabeth. How long has this been going on? What part of it is none of your business, don't you understand? This is wicked, Maria. Wicked. Dear, I know who's been sleeping with your husband. Moses, open the gate. But um, Madame say I should not uh, open the gate for you, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Good night, sir.
Good evening, sir. Mm. Yeah, open the gate, will you? Um, Madam is asleep, sir. Yeah, that's all right. I'll open the gate. Um, Madam said I should open the door for anybody, sir. And since when have I become anybody? Open the gate, Chichi. Um, Madam said I should open the door for you, sir. Open the damn gate, Chichi. I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I, I can't open. All right. All right. Good night, Chichi. Thank you, sir. Chike, how you there? Mm-hmm. Okay, there for house. Mm. Night vigil, huh? And your wife love God. Huh? Anyway, they go shrine. You won't come. Yeah, may I come pick you? All right.
tonight. If you want a miracle from God, stand on your face and open your mouth, lift up your hands and speak to your father right now. Oh, tell him you have come here for a miracle tonight. Oh, thank God you are serious about this. Let God see you. Pray like you came here for a miracle. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, so pray. Welcome to Art House Contemporary here in Lagos. Without further ado, let's get started. Okay, starting with Lot 1. No pay for Dumpa. Hard side up. Starting the bid at $1,000. Do I have $1,000? Thank you, I have $1,000. Do I have $1,500? $1,500. $2,000? $2,000 at the back of the room. Thank you, Mum. Thank you, sir. $2,500. $3,000 to you at the back, sir. Any advance on $3,000? 3,500 lady in red dress, thank you very much, ma'am. Any more bidders? 3,500 last time. So, thank you very much, ma'am. Can I see your card, please? And say card 220. Thank you very much, ma'am. Hello and welcome to the show. Today we are discussing the thorny topic of working women and what to do with the kids. I'm in the studio with you here today. I'm a woman who is Chichi, why is the table set for two? And, Ma, I thought that your friend Fel was going to spend the night. Unless I tell you so, never assume that my guest is staying the night. Yes, Ma. I'm sorry, Ma. Happy birthday, Ma. Aww. Thank you. This is very nice of you. You're welcome, man. What about the party? What party? 
Last year, you said you were going to throw a big party to celebrate your birthday this year. I did. Hmm. I wonder what made me say that. You work too hard, man. Nonsense, Chichi. In my line of business, there's no such thing as working too hard. Elizabeth, don't tell me you're calling to remind me again about your talk. <laughs> Thanks for you, Ewelu. No, Maria. That is not why I'm calling you this morning. I just called to wish you a happy birthday, my dear. So, apart from being a doctor, you are now a judge. I think with my head, Maria. That's what I do. Unlike you, who unfortunately and consistently thinks with her heart. Which is rather amazing. Give me how accomplished you, know what, you are. Just stay out of my business. I am your friend, you fool. I can't stay out of your business. Now, you did something wrong. Say so and move on. <laughs> well, there goes Miss Perfect. Who is going to London next week to get silicon sewn into her breast? Not me. Uh, she'll says the Botox junkie. Well, who is going around sleeping with boys young enough to be her own sons? Not me! Oh, who was caught shagging her own daughter's boyfriend? Not me, Lizzie. Do you know why you're always poking your nose into everyone's business? It's because you're lonely. Sort out your life, Lizzie! Oh, where is your daughter? <sighs> Arrest my case. Well, 50 is the new 25. What a load of rubbish. Physician, heal thyself. Watch where you're going, can't you see? Kate, please, um, I apologize. Ignore that when I beg. Her head is not correct this morning. Just please sit. Shouldn't you be on set? Tola canceled the shoot. Her parents are visiting. What can I do you for? I came to give you this. Thanks for rescuing me yesterday. Come on, Kate, I already told you. This is not a loan. It's a gift from a friend. Thanks, Lizzie. I really appreciate it, but I can't. I can't. I can't take it anymore. Kate. Talk to me. I have put up with too much from her and I have had enough. I mean, it's just too much. I can't take it. I want this to be over. Everyone can go their separate ways. Is this what you want? Is that what it'll take to stop all these ugly rumors that have been flying all over Lagos? Asha, Kasha, answer your father. Go, Kunle. Who is begging you to stay anyway? Run to Maria. Who's Maria? Mbo. Who is Maria? Maria is his mistress. His mistress that's carrying his child. Look, don't listen to her. I mean, first she accused Kate, my best friend's wife. That didn't wash. Now she's accusing someone else. God punish you, Kunle. The thunder fire you, Tola. Ah. Like a born liar. Ah, for where? What now? Okoeni. But he keeps having affairs. Panuemo. I can only respect a man that respects himself. Marco Panuemo. Look at you, Tola. Look at you. But he's the one out there, sleeping around, making me a laughing stock. Oh, the man. You, you must respect your husband. You must respect him. <sighs> Daddy. If this sprawling mansion wasn't yours, if you weren't spoiling me the way a wealthy philanderer spoils his mistress, I would tell you to get out of this house right now, go to Badagri Beach, and drown yourself. Uh, uh, talk, talk to your daughter. Bama is all right. Super. Kule, let's take a walk in the garden. Are you out of your mind? Does he know? What do you think? If 
you go around blapping your mouth about this, you're the one who will suffer. I I've told you before and I will tell you again, let bygones be bygones. That's all you've ever said all these years. Well, I'm sick and tired of this rancid secret that has ruined my entire life. That man is nothing but a beast. He is still your father. He's a beast. I ought to get someone to slit his throat. Ah, stop talking that way. I know he was bad to you. Very bad. But if this were to get out, what do you think people will say about you? Uh, do you think you'll be able to cope with what they say? What about what they'll say about him? What about what they'll say about you? Or isn't that what you're most concerned about, mother? A mother catches her husband raping his daughter. Her daughter. And what does she do? She helps him cover it up. Well, bravo, mother. Bravo. Don't you dare taunt me, you slut. What do you just call me? Running around the house half naked, flaunting yourself. I shower. I was in my parents' home, flaunting yourself. So it was my fault. <laughs> I never said it was your fault. No, you finally said it. It was my fault. He forced himself on me. Stop twisting my words. Wow. 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 Tala, you know the consequences for you and for this family. You would destroy our entire family. Our entire lives would be laid waste to. Well, mine was laid waste to a long time ago. Do you know why that spineless husband of mine, who has only stayed in this marriage because he married into wealth, do you know why he keeps having affairs? Because I can't even bear for him to touch me. Why else do you think we haven't started a family? Oh, you thought I was barren, right? Well, I'm not. Why did you marry him then? Because I loved him. And I believe there was a time that he loved me yeah. too. <laughs> Love on one tinty. Why did you marry him? I married him because I thought marriage and companionship would rid me of all the memories of all the nastiness that happened. But obviously that didn't work. You should have let him go. You should have let him go a long time ago. It would have been cheaper. I let him go. He just never left. Mm. We will come to an arrangement with him. Ah, I'm so happy we've solved that problem.
I saw a doctor and he tested me. Why? Because I found a lump in my breast. Call your pastor, this cannot Chiki, be. Chiki. Lee said everything will be fine. She says she'll help me. This cannot be happening. Hi, Kate. Don't leave me, please, Kate. I'm not going anywhere. If you leave me, Kate, if you leave me. I'm here. She's half an hour. What's wrong? Mommy and Daddy were here today. Yeah, I know that. We talk every day, remember? <sighs> Mommy said she was coming to talk to you and Kongi. How did that go? Did she? Of course she would. She tells you everything. you always been the one she loved more. Anyway, Kule has moved out. We've both decided to finally go our separate ways. You're finally rid of that width of space. It wasn't always like that, Jamal. There was a time when Kule and I were very happy together. Then what happened? Wait, how much did it cost? How much did what cost? To get rid of him. Nothing. I find that hard to believe. Daddy offered him complete ownership of the law firm. And he turned that down? He not only turned him down, he tendered his resignation. Ah. Omar, maybe I was wrong about the guy. Hey, Good morning, sir. Good morning. Is Madame in? Um, she's... It's okay, she's... Tola and I are getting a divorce. I moved out yesterday. You moved out? Yes. Uh, I'll be staying with Kate and Chike for about a week or so, until I find a place. Don't look so worried. Now, I will talk you uh, through what the procedure, the surgery is. It's three days to go. The big day is here. Celebration of my 50th birthday. Can you believe it?
next, please. Camera one. Stand by camera two. Hold it right there. Stand by camera three. Keep it there. Love it. Camera three. I just came to say that you and your team are doing a fantastic job. I'm very proud of you. And I love you. Now, I'm going to take myself out of here before you throw me out. Who is that? Stand my camera too, we're coming to you next. Why is it hot? I'm hot. Okay, please tell him to hurry up. There's no time. I can be. Yeah, I like it like this, just to, you know. Oh, really? Okay. What happens if you get triplets? You got your wine. You can have triplets. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh.